So yeah, I'm going to talk about curved geometry in FreeCAD, which uh, commonly is uh, implemented as splines. And uh, let's get into it. So in case you don't know, this is what FreeCAD is. You, and probably a little slightly out of, sp out of place, slightly tangential in a liberal graphics sense, but uh, definitely when you want to make something out of, uh, make something physical out of whatever you, whatever you, whatever uh, artist draws, uh, maybe as laser printing, laser cutting or such things, uh, that's when FreeCAD can come in. So take a look if you don't know yet, and a uh, little bit about me. I've been uh, working, about, working on FreeCAD for about nine years on and off, and uh, I'm a project staff at IIT Bombay about a, di a different uh, project, which uh, if you're interested in uh, free software in free and open source software in India, that's one of the organizations that handles it. Um, so yeah, definitely go ahead and take a look at that your time. And uh, let's start with the game, uh, which might be a little confusing to everyone if you haven't heard of before what a beast plane is. But uh, let's, okay, let's start with that. How many of you have heard of the term beast plane? Okay, how many of you know what the B in beast plane stands for? Okay. Bernoulli? Uh, I think you're, you're thinking Bernstein, but that is not it. <laughs> and B in the B spline also does not stand for Bezier, which is a different curve. Uh, but so B spline is basically, uh, so let's start with what a spline is, kind of an idea. Uh, and of course, a conveniently placed background image is of a spline, of course. Uh, so this is basically, as you can see, a general curve. Uh, nothing, nothing that you can create with just a compass and a scale or such things. Uh, scale or ruler. Uh, I don't know who uses what terms, but yeah. Um, and you can see that it has like a smoothness to it. You can add, add arbitrary smoothness at, at points and all those things. So that's basically the idea of a, of a spline, that you can make a general kind of curve, uh, which is, um, and make more free, free form shapes with it. So let's play, the, let's start that game basically. It's, so is this a B spline, a sine wave? Okay, no re-guessing, but uh, the point here is that uh, not everything is a B not everything can be a spline, um, or at least to the extent that I'm thinking of. So basically, a spline can be represented as a polynomial function, and uh, a sine wave, if you uh, can recall, if you recall. Uh, high school math, maybe, that uh, the sine part is basically irrational in general, so the function cannot be represented easily as, as a polynomial or a rational function, which is a slightly different thing, but uh, still a more uh, usable, like, still something more manageable than uh, as, uh, a sine wave, okay. So let's go with this. And I, as I already said, uh, a Bezier curve, the B in B spline does not stand for Bezier, but every piece of a B spline, or every piece of a spline, basically, can be, rep is a Bezier curve, basically. And so in general, the question is not 
usually about whether or not this curve is a, is a B-spline, but it's more like whether or not it can be represented as a B-spline. And if, you, if it is basically a pollen, if it, is, if it falls into that subset of functions, uh, it is almost always a B-spline. So if it is a rational curve, if it can be represented as a, rash, as a rational function of some parameter, uh, it is. But I, I really hope I'm not losing you with all the math without actually showing any formulas even. So, okay. Um, so with that in mind, is this a V-spline? Okay, I see a head nodding, no. Why do you think no? <laughs> Correct, but uh, that is still, it is still possible to represent this thing as a single B spline. So it can start with like a parameter going from here and going all the way to the end with just, uh, uh, with just like one function. And the way you can do that is that, uh, that involves a, a bunch of uh, complicated uh, descriptions, which involves a few vectors that are not actually vectors in, math in mathematical sense. Uh, it is called the not, not vector. So, and those knots are what can handle these B splines. So basically, this uh, can be represented as, as a B spline, but I'm not entirely sure how exactly because. Uh, I don't know how Inkscape uh, behind the scenes uh, describes these curves. And I was actually hoping to, uh, I'm actually hoping to learn more about it from the Inkscape team here uh, on t in tomorrow's BOF. Uh, but yeah, as, some, as someone pointed out, this is kind of a composite fun curve and there is one place where there is a there's a direct discontinuity. There is one place where it is perfectly smooth. There is this thing going on. It's called a symmetric uh, node, but I don't know what exactly symmetric means. Uh, and then there is somewhere where the curvature is not uh, continuous, but the direction changes continuously. So basically, if you if you expand, if you create a sheet out of this. Uh, if you curve like a metallic sheet into this shape and then look and then look around it you'll be able to see that there's a discontinuity here by the way the light reflects around it but here you will hopefully not be able to see it that's kind of the idea of uh, curvature being continuous so and that has the, a whole bunch of advantages of users in car design and making more aesthetic uh, looking items. And actually that's how the entire field of NURBS was kind of, was developed to make luxury cars. So yeah, and then let's talk about this one. Is this a piece spline? Uh, so in this respect, uh, the answer can you can yeah okay go on say. <laughs> I suspect it's no, but I'm increasingly unsure. <laughs> okay. Um, because it's certain components and circles are traditionally hard. Right. So it is. Um, so the the one guy who has been answering my questions <laughs> is actually half correct this time, in the sense that. Uh, you can't create this with a traditional quote unquote B spline in the sense that you can't make a polynomial function out of it. But it is possible to create a rational function out of it. And, the, uh, and it is a whole bunch of uh, complicated math which involves projections, which I do not have the time to talk about. And I'm already like halfway through, uh, although I guess the talk will not end, will not take the rest of 10 minutes. But the principle is any conic can be represented as a B, as a, 
as a single Bezier, as a rational Bezier curve, and then as a part of our entire B's plane. It is possible. So, and it can be done exactly. Uh, what, will, what will not happen is that it won't uh, follow the exact same parameterization as the, like an uh, arc, maybe. So it won't be sine x, cos x. It will be some, it will be some kind of a, uh, t, some t square by some other t square, some functions involving squares of t, or t being the parameter. Uh, but, uh, okay. My, mouse, my computer is still responsive, and I'm sorry. In case my uh, in case my computer gets unresponsive, I will have to hard reboot it, and then we'll have to. I don't know how we'll handle that, but okay, let's go. Uh, but to but to conclude that yeah, we can definitely represent this as a B spline, but we what we probably can't do is if you want to make a whole circle and each of those is a few is one arc of the. Uh, of the spline, and we still want it to be uh, to have a continuous curvature. That is not possible, but that goes into a little more detail than you might be interested in, I guess. Um, so, yeah. So, so, so no to norm, normal B spline. Yes to what is called the NURBS, non-uniform rational B spline which is a more general form. OK. So what else is a B spline? So can you think of other curves that might or might not be B splines? Um, yeah, OK. So basically, the idea here was uh, you, it does not have to be restricted to a curve. It can be like a two different dimensional surface as well, and also audio. There are some one-dimensional B splines as well that can be that can be done. Um, colors can be represented in that way. So that's kind of the idea behind that, behind all this. And and my uh, and my kind of uh, takeaways in this thing was going to be that. Uh, B splines themselves are kind of confusing, and that is the only thing that is implemented currently in FreeCAD. But uh, anyone who is coming from Inkscape will probably know what uh, how these nodes are defined. And I've seen a bunch of people who uh, who just uh, start trying out FreeCAD and then try to play with uh, curves uh, and. Uh, and then they get confused of like, oh, how do I add a, add a control point and all those things? Um, which kind of leads me to the idea that uh, there are other representations of uh, uh, curved geometry that can be more useful than a B spline. And that is kind of my idea of uh, basically being here to get an idea uh, to hear from you guys during tomorrow's balls of a feather se session about uh, hey how do you plan to use a general uh, general curve in or a general surface in uh, in creating actual 3d objects in a way that FreeCAD could be useful to you, or would or is useful to you, uh, if you are actually a user. So, yeah, some I'd, some thought processes. Uh, I could I'd say I I, I threw some uh, for some examples that I could think of. Uh, Inkscape, it. Uh, there is a module to, uh, there, is, there is an add-on in FreeCAD to in, import uh, inks. Oh boy. All right. Let's not hurry it. I've got five more minutes. Yeah. Um, so there's an add-on to import from Inkscape, but uh, it is not that smooth. Uh, I would like to um, 
maybe get that smoothened eventually. Uh, so all this has been a bunch of sketcher stuff, which is, which is the 2D constrained drawing uh, module of FreeCAD, and that is kind of the one that I primarily focus on, but uh, there are definitely other kinds of, uh, uh, there, there are other possibilities are all already there in the, <coughs> uh, from coming directly from the geometry kernel. So if you are making something, uh, some A-level surfacing, I think that is the term that I've heard of, it's like, you create something, and then you see that, oh, this doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. I want to m start smoothing these curves out. How do you do that? Uh, that kind of stuff can be done, but I think, uh, and there are a bun bunch of curve, uh, 2D curve add-ons for that, but uh, uh, nothing that is currently part of ReCAD proper. And creating code for CNC. This is something that I've, uh, uh, that, I, that I heard at least once from uh, Brad Collett, who handles uh, the CAM workbench. And uh, in that, I learned that there is no, uh, there's no option for a general spline, but then there is a, there's an option for arcs and straight lines, so you can approximate uh, approximate those curves. So you can first design them directly in FreeCAD, and then when exporting to G-code, it will automatically convert them to approximated arcs. So that is one option. And of course, more general curves, like the sine wave that I showed earlier, if there's a need for creating those kinds of things. Um, so yeah, that's basically my idea. Uh, if you have any thoughts about this, uh, there's an entire Birds of a Feather session waiting for you at the other side of midnight, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, all right. So that's about it from me. Thank you. <laughs>